Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel GoDynamic IT. If you are still using an older version of remote desktop, then it's time to upgrade. Microsoft has launched a re new remote desktop client that's more advanced and feature-rich than the previous version. So in today's video, I will walk you through everything you need to know to make the switch and improve your experience. Okay, so let me show you the problem first. So as you can see on my screen, so what we do to use our older remote desktop, that's the MSTSC. This is the one which we do, right? And here, uh, you you know, every time when you add, you have to go and add your user to access access the remote desktop. So, for example, let's say this is the test user one, right? So, I, when I try to log in, right, it's asking about the password. So, let's put the password here and connect. Okay. So, this is connected. And again, if you want to open it, the second one. So, assume that the second one, second IP is different. So, you have to key in the second IP here and then try to log in, right? So, let's say, um, so this is the uh, second one. So, uh, you know, what you have to do is you have to go to more different user and then add a username and password here, right? So, this is how, this is a in, little bit of inconvenience here. Also, when you are using this uh, remote desktop for your uh, Azure and your administrator is using sharing some app through the remote desktop, then you won't be able to get it through this older version or legacy version of remote desktop. So, let's go and download the latest one so i'll show you the i'll show you the difference here so now you know the problem right okay so what is the solution the solution is to get the newer version of remote desktop client so before that let me show you this uh, my uh, add remove program as you can see here i have this older version of remote desktop which we have installed in the previous window because this was not there so if you want to know how to install the remote desktop in case if you have any problem go ahead and watch the playlist this video is already there how to reinstall it okay so now coming back to the video here so we have to go to the app store microsoft app store is every every windows 11 or windows, windows 10 have this feature and in here you have to go to this one and type remote desktop once you see this remote desktop you can see this uh, this icon here remote desktop microsoft remote desktop click on the install and it's trying to install it and it should not take much time you can see this is a very uh, tiny one okay says that this is done now it's time to click on open okay so you can see here uh, it says that connect to pc and workspace so i just said that right when you have azure desktop then your administrator can share you the app through which you can connect uh, you can connect with this uh, app remote desktop app. so now as i said that our task is to connect our uh, remote pc with single console so i'll show you how so you can see when you have to go to the ad and click on the pc here it will ask you for the ip address so you can use this ip address or fqdn name fqdn name so i'll add the ip address 192.168.186.128 i think that's the one let me get that from this one this window yeah i'm correct so here it says that user account so let's save this user account so my user account is test1 password and let's say this is account name and save it right and here are some few more advanced option here you want to save this uh, pc if you have any gateway you can create a group here for example uh, let's say i have a uh, multiple uh, let's say i'm a system administrator or something uh, or any similar role and i have a multiple groups where i connect in so let's say if i have few uh, servers which belong to the marketing few servers which belong to the sales few few servers which related to the developers so that i can create a multiple groups here and then i can try to log in to those servers so i'm talking about the servers so if you have a gateway you can add it gateway here you can enable this connect the admin session or swap mouse button and all and display if you have a display settings, you can change the display settings from here. Um, you have an option to open this, uh, enable this clipboard. And then you have an option to play the audio or disable the audio here. Right? This is how uh, you have. So now, as I just said that, I have saved these settings here. So let's do one thing. Um, just save this setting. So I have saved this setting here. Uh, so you know, uh, the PC name, username, connection name. So connection name will be, I will be saved as a test one. Okay, this is one saved. Now, let me save the another one. PC, this is my, uh, either in the PC. And this is my second user, test two. And the display name will be also the test two. Connection nickname. Okay, this is test two. And then all the settings will be as it is. Click on the save. So you can now you can see i have a test two here so again i can add more pcs here so let's click on the pcs and then uh, again the ip address 192.168.186 sorry 186.128 and username just add the username here test three the password 
account display name save connection name what do you want the connection name let's see the test because see i'm trying to log into the same pc so so this is how it is so now you can see here i have a three pcs added here right it however it was not there in this this machine right you cannot save this uh, three sessions here but however it can you display here so let me show it to you so let's click on the test one first so it's trying to connect connect anyway and here we go you can see i'm successfully connected to this uh, remote pc so let's minimize this one full screen and connect to test 2 trying to connect and uh, here we go so you can see this is our uh, second one test 2 so you know here you have a two options you get three if you want to disconnect or minimize it you have to go to click on the three dots here and you can see right hand side you have full screen or disconnect i'm not going to disconnect it just click on the full screen and uh, it will show you like that just minimize this and now it's time to connect to test 3 so click on the test 3 and uh, it will allow us to log into this test 3 machine okay so test 3 is i think it's trying to log in first time don't worry about that let's disable this stuff here and click on the accept and here we go so i have logged into this machine with, with the test 3 as well okay again full screen so isn't it the convenience for you when you have a when you when you are a system administrator and someone who try to log into the different different machines here different different servers here so your one console remote desktop console allow you to log into the three different machine or more more different machine on single instance however i just said previously also this was not possible in the previous version of the remote desktop right so again if you are if you are as uh, azure client you have to click on the add workspace and then you have to add the url of your uh, company and once you log in successfully authenticated by the ad you will get a remote with desktop vdi or you get the app which was assigned which by assigned by which is assigned by your system administrators so that's it right so okay so let's close this one so isn't it convenience for you so let me close this one so sometime let me disconnect that okay so now this is this was about this remote desktop so, so but you know sometime but it's a time like sometime if you want to uninstall this so uninstalling this uninstalling this remote new remote desktop is a little bit tricky so you can see here i am on my uh, add room program i am not able to find that icon remote desktop this is the older remote desktop connection don't confuse with confuse with the new one you can see here there is no uh, remote desktop uh, icon here where you can go ahead and ins uninstall it however some 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 few people think that i'll go to the app store and i can uninstall it from here but unfortunately there is no option here you he, from here also you can go ahead and uninstall it you can see there is no option where you can uninstall it so how do we do that okay so i'll don't worry i'll show it so just minimize this one close this one and in the search you have to type remote desktop you can see this remote desktop icon click on this arrow button here do you see this arrow click here and you see this setting button one uh this arrow button bring it down and here you have option to get last option you can see this uninstall click on this uninstall and it says that uninstall okay go ahead and uninstall it and it says that remote desktop is being uninstalled okay i'll wait for your confirmation message okay so that's been uninstalled now when you type again remote desktop see now this is disappeared that may this means that it has been uninstalled from this machine and i told you if you want to reinstall it go back to your uh, app store type remote desktop here we if you you get this one and go ahead and install it right so uh, i think we have covered our agenda for today's video so that's for today's video if you have any questions query or any feedback related to this video please do let me know in the comment box thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next one